I am Rahul Mahapari and today we are going to discuss one very basic and fundamental concept of mathematics that divided by zero is what? Okay. Now, uh, for that concept, uh, we should uh, know the concept of multiplication and division. आप कहेंगे कि मल्टीप्लिकेशन और डिवीजन हमें पता है नहीं क्या तो आपको पता है बहुत अच्छे से पता है लेकिन फिर भी एक 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 नए तरीके से हम उसे देखेंगे आज जो कि अब बस एक डेढ़ मिनट में ये डिस्कस कर लेंगे मल्टीप्लिकेशन और डिवीजन बिकॉज़ फॉर दैट कांसेप्ट वी शुड नो द फंडामेंटल और एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ डिवीजन ओके सो इसके साथ मल्टीप्लिकेशन मैंने ऐसे ही ले लिया एक क्योंकि उस पर स्पेशल वीडियो तो नहीं बना सकता एक मिनट में लेकिन डिवीजन इसकी कंसेप्ट बहुत अच्छे से पता होनी चाहिए तभी हम डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो क्या होता है और इस इस इसको भी डिस्कस करेंगे कि फ्रॉम लेफ्ट फ्रॉम राइट और ग्राफिकल उसका एक्सप्लेनेशन भी हम देखेंगे ओके सो चलिए शुरू करते हैं पहले मल्टीप्लीकेशन न मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज वॉट वी टेक वन सिंपल एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई टेक फाइव इंटू और आई कैन टेक फोर इंटू थ्री Suppose I take four into three. What is mean by actually four into three? Answer, answer. Okay, answer we know twelve, right? So, but what is mean by actually multiplication? So when we write four into three, it means you add four three times. Sorry, three times. So that answer is twelve. You add four three times, right? If if you take three into four, or you can take any number. It means you add three four times, right? So multiplication is nothing but a repetition, repetition of addition, repetition of addition. So multiplication is nothing but a repetition of addition. Now what about division? अब इसको थोड़ा सा अच्छे से समझना पड़ेगा. यही base है हमारे आज के topic का divided by zero. No, what is mean by division? We take one more example again. What is division? Okay. Now, if I take uh, suppose a uh, twelve divided by four. Answer to me. Puchunga ne answer to sabko pata hai. Aap video agar dekhe to answer pata hai. What is answer? That three, right? But how? What is mean by actually twelve by four? So if I write here twelve. Now see, we get answer zero. Okay, we get answer zero. For that answer, how many four requires? How many that four requires to subtract from twelve so that we get zero? It means twelve minus four minus four, not equal to zero. Again, we required one more four minus four. So four, 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 twelve, twelve minus twelve, zero. Now it is okay. So how many four we require to subtract from twelve so that we get answer zero? So one, two, three. We require three fours, and so answer is three. One more. Uh, we take reversely. Suppose twelve divided by three. Now how many three required to subtract from twelve? So that answer is zero. So one, two, three, four. Four threes are required. So can I write division is nothing but a uh, repetition of it is repetition of subtraction, but in a particular uh, manner. Repetition of subtraction, but in a particular manner that we subtract from twelve that number, right? Whatever divided by. So repetition of multiplication, uh, sorry, repetition of addition is multiplication, and repetition of subtraction is the division. Now see, अगर आप कहेंगे कि सर ये तो whole number के लिए होगा, what about uh, rational or fractional values, right? So see here, if I take uh, for sake of understanding the concept, I take a very simple example. If I take one by zero point one, one by zero point one, answer. We know, right? But how? Now see, I write one minus. Now how many? Here we observe how many four requires three. How many three requires four, right? How many zero point one requires so that we subtract from one? And answer is zero. How many zero point one required? Now zero point one, zero point one, zero point one. So I just start here minus zero point one. 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन माइनस एंड सो ऑन हाउ मेनी सो वेन वी टेक टेन जीरो पॉइंट वन सो दैट सम इज वन राइट सो माइनस 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 एन आउट साइड एंड जीरो पॉइंट वन वेन वी आई टेन टाइम्स वी गेट वन जीरो पॉइंट वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन लाइक दिस सो हाउ मेनी जीरो पॉइंट वन रिक्वायर्ड टेन दिस इज टेन टाइम्स रिक्वायर्ड टेन जीरो पॉइंट वन सो दैट आंसर इज टेन यू कैन ट्राई फॉर अदर नंबर ऑल्सो यू मैट एक फाइव बाई जीरो पॉइंट वन so how many 0.1 required if we add 10 times we get one so 10 10 10 10 means 50 times if we add 50 times 0.1 we get 5 and therefore 5 minus 0.1 minus 0.1 and so on how many times 50 times 50 times right so that answer is zero so its answer is 50 how many these numbers denominator how many times we use to that equality that is the answer this is the division for a fractional value uh, it is usable for fractional value also right now see now see if i go uh, if i uh, approach to zero close to zero uh, we have to uh, explain Uh, how to explain graphically also so this is zero right and now i try to approach from right side from right side towards zero and it means when i take 1 by 0.1 so that we get answer is 10 because 0.1 10 times required right now if i take 1 by 0.01 now what is the answer it means how many 0.01 required to subtract from 1 and obviously 0.01 when we add 100 times then we get sum is 1 right so 100 times if i take 1 by 0.001 so 0.001 we required 1000 times if we add 0.001 1000 times we get sum is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 this one right so we get 1000 and like this if i take 1 by 0.0000 i can uh, i cannot take a particular number here but it's a very small number but what are I, uh, what we are doing here 0.1 suppose here and then 0.01 suppose here and then 0.001 suppose here and this number is very close to zero suppose here we can take less than this number also so again close to zero but when that numbers uh, approaches to zero close and close to zero we get answer 0.1 we get 10 right for 0.01 we get 100 for that number we get this one suppose so i just uh, put here the picture what we have like this and this graph approaches to plus infinity this y axis positive y axis so when we take smaller and smaller number or close and close to zero from right only so that this number is increasing this number is increasing like this so from right side when we approach to zero it goes to plus infinity it goes to plus infinity now now divided by 0 right so we just take 1 by 0 suppose 1 by 0 what happen now approaches to 0 but when we take directly 1 by 0 we cannot take directly 1 by 0 because this is undefined number this is undefined number we have to understand this concept in form of limit in form of limit limit वैसे भी बहुत ही अच्छी कांसेप्ट है मैथमेटिक्स में एनालिसिस में जो भी मिस्ट्रीज और जो भी कॉम्प्लिकेशंस सॉल्व डायरेक्टली नहीं होते वही लिमिट के फॉर्म में बहुत सारे सॉल्व हो जाते हैं तो ये भी उसी कंसेप्ट का एक पार्ट है सो फ्रॉम राइट प्लस इन्फिनिटी नाउ सी व्हाट व्हाट हैपन फॉर निगेटिव नंबर्स सो आई पुट हियर आई डोंट वेस्ट द टाइम सो 
Good. If I take minus 0 0.1, obviously here minus 0 0.1, right? So what we get? If I take same quantity with negative sign, so we get minus 10. This is minus. So we get minus 100. I take minus of 0 0.01, right? I, I, I have not put minus sign here. लेकिन आप बोलेंगे कि यहाँ पे यहाँ पे सेम ही है, सेम तो बाद में हो ही जाएगा, राइट? सो इफ आई टेक माइनस, सो टेक आउटसाइड, सो गेट माइनस 1000, एंड फॉर दैट माइनस, इफ आई टेक सो माइनस बिग नंबर, सो व्हाट हैपन? 0.1 गिव्स माइनस 10, सो बस माइनस 10 इज़ हियर, राइट? माइनस 10, एंड देन माइनस 100, माइनस approach to zero from left from left it approaches to minus infinity it approaches to minus infinity so from right it approaches to plus infinity and from left it approaches to minus infinity so can i uh, how can i say how can i say that <laughs> one second how can i say one by zero is plus infinity or how can, how can I say on the minus infinity? It gives both. It gives both because directly 1 by 0 is undefined. Undefined number. Undefined number, right? But when we discuss this concept through the limit, through the limit that 1 by 0 from left, from right. So, we get plus infinity as well as minus infinity uh, depending on the direction of that and so what we get divided by zero is video may divided by zero this divided by zero is undefined because it gives a different values or we cannot say values actually this is infinity is also undefined number but ye ek, ek side may be nahi jata hai. simple example if i take one by this is an example 1 by x limit x tends to 0. This we have discussed here, right? But if I put mod x here, if I put mod x here, then it is only plus infinity because when it approaches from right, obviously positive number se approach hoga, to plus infinity ki taraf jayega. and when it approaches from left, left, so negative number, negative number aayega, is me jayega, input. Mod है negative को फिर से positive में convert करेगा और इस type से mod x one by mod x sorry one by mod x so ये नहीं रहेगा इस side में okay so it gives plus infinity only we can take one by x square also right so uh, इस type से uh, uh, हम discuss कर सकते हैं divided by zero so what we have divided by zero any number divided by zero is undefined number we can discuss divided by zero only through limiting concept and whatever we get so here if i take one by x so this is limit does not exist we say okay so limit ke liye hum dusre videos mein discuss karenge but divided by zero concept ke liye itna hi thank you for watching this video thank you very much